Hello, this is Christy. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can put a video inside a text element in Camtasia to uh, appear as if the video is playing inside a word or letters, a few letters or a few words, it doesn't matter. So the function is using a new feature that was added in Camtasia 2020 called track mats. So we will look at how this works. Um, I have a blank new project here and I'm going to drag a video clip in my uh, library, in my media bin and place it on the timeline just to show. So I have this video playing here with a scene from space. Now we want to put this inside a video. So we want uh, inside a text. So it plays inside a letter. So we will have to go to annotations and create a new text element. We will place this on the stage. And of course, we want to make it quite large. And also we need to make room for it to resize on the canvas and then turn the size up. If that's not enough, we can do about maybe 400. And also we want to choose uh, kind of a, like a fat font. So um, I'm going to select the font here and I'm going to look for something quite, quite thick, maybe Arial black or even something else. Let's see. Maybe this one. No, that's not fat enough here. Okay. So this is it. Uh, let me just make it even larger space in here. Okay. And now how do we make this? Well, it's quite easy. We will have to select the text layer. So I'm going to make this all uh, stretch all the way here. And we will use a feature that was added, like I said, in the track settings here, you have three icons and uh, one of them is to lock. One of them is to turn on the magnetic link. And then there is this eye icon here, which turns the track on and off. But if you right click on this, you can specify the track mat mode for this track. So in our case, we want alpha. So there you go. The text is now visible, um, is now in, in invisible, but it's also keeping the video inside it. So let's play this, see if it works. Here we are. Um, and this is very nice because you can actually change the text and the mask will still apply. I can even turn it down maybe 500. It's um, quite difficult to do this when it's turned on. So I'm going to just take it off for a second. Okay. Resizing the object works with control and wheel and let's turn on the track mat again, alpha. And here we are. So now the video should be playing inside of the text. Now, if you want to keep these things nice and together, you know, when you want to move, if you want to move the text around or do other stuff with it, then if you want that to stay with the video, you can group these. So you select both of the uh, tracks and you right click and say group, right? So now the effect is inside of the group. So you may notice that everything disappeared because now the track above has no content which, you know, and we turn on the alpha. So in Camtasia, when you group two layers like that, two tracks, one of them being the alpha mat, it will copy that track inside of the group and apply the same effect. So because of that, now the track that the file, the text used to be on still has the effect applied to it, but it's a duplicate. And because it has no content, there's nothing to see through. So we need to turn off the track mat for that particular track. So now, Everything is in my group, which makes it very nice because I can now move together everything in this group because they've become like an object, even resize and things are going to, you know, the resizing proportionally. So I can also add animation to this group. So if I want to, you know, uh, add a custom animation to the, um, to this, uh, group, I can go animations and add a custom animation and just, you know, make it kind of zoom in or something like that. So 
Uh, let's do that. Uh, hold down the control key to, spay, to uh, scale proportionally. So, you know, here we have the whole thing. The text is uh, growing and the video is still playing and scaling at the same time with this. So this is quite a nice effect uh, and also, you know, very easy to achieve. So don't forget, you know, you enable the track mat on the top layer, so the top track, and you turn it to alpha and then whatever is on the layer will be see-through and the rest will be opaque. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoy my tutorials. If you would like to get more, please subscribe to my channel, like it, share it and comment. See you next time.